Hey Model Maniacs, Dirk here, getting ready to do that all-important kit review so that you, the model junkie, can make an informed decision on what kits you want to buy. Today, we're going to go back to 1998 98, and look at the 48 Ford Woody from Ravel. Cool kit. Very, very cool. Um, what can I say? Well, first, big thing is the box. This thing is huge. Compared to most the standard Ravel AMT boxes and such, this is a beast. It measures in at 12 by 7.5 by 4 deep. Whereas your standard uh, Ravel kits are usually 9 by 6 by 3 and a quarters. So this is really significantly bigger. As you can see there. See? Still lots of box on the outside and the top. It is big. 48 Ford, 125 scale, and she is the classic. It's a beauty. Look at that. The lines on that, it's a gorgeous looking kit. But this is just a model, or excuse me, <clears throat> this is a picture of the real one, not the actual model. But if we flip the box over, you can see here when it comes to your specs and stuff like that, paint guide, you have a nice picture of the model itself built up. Okay, so I give you an idea what it looks like. Alright, spin it around, we got the same thing on the side again. This one actually is the model built up, I believe. Yeah, this is, this is actually the model built up here to look like the cover. Okay, looking pretty good side has got some more pictures that you can look at here such as a head-on view of the nose looking down at the uh, the engine okay it's got a nice classic engine and sorry I covered up the, the box here I accidentally tore the box while opening it there you go you can see the ass of the car there pretty cool the uh, spare tire and everything but anyway trying to open it uh, it was a sealed kit, and I'm trying to open it, it wouldn't open it, and that's when I tore it, and I realized that this one's a flip top. Ooh. So, let me um, reposition the camera, and I'll show you what's inside the box. Okay, so we've cracked open our box. I saw that before. Like I said, I destroyed this box. It, it was sealed brand new when I got it, but um, I've destroyed it opening it. But uh, inside the box, we've got 128 parts on eight sprues. We've got five white sprues, we've got one chrome sprue, we've got one rubber sprue for the tires, and then we've got the clear parts tree. So again, that's eight sprues coming up to a total of 123 parts. Beauty. So we're gonna take a look here. I'm gonna move that over for later. We're gonna move this over for later. And we're gonna take a look at some of these parts. Hang on a second. Hang on. Okay, on our first sprue we got here, so we can't get a nice angle, get close in. What we got here is, first off, we got the bottom of the chassis. As you can see here, we've got their tank, the wheel well area where your axles are going to be, and then the floor plans coming in here. Pan, not plans, pan. All right. Try just lights. Then here, we've got ourselves one of the back seats. Or should I say, um, that's actually, I believe, the front seat, right? Yeah, that's the front seat with the backing to it. And then here we have the back seat, okay? Then we have the interior of the car. You've got your back storage area it's got a little textured area back there for the floor. Okay, moving forward, you got your tunnel, you've got your mats are, are, are ingrained here. Um, again, it's got a little bit of texture to it, but it's in it's a nice condition. Um, very cool. Next, we've got, whoops. Next, we've got the, uh, I believe we've got the back two 
the other seat. Okay, you've got your spare tire for the back. Uh, I believe this is part of the bumper. Okay, I believe these are supports for the bumper. I'm not sure. Okay, here's a nice piece. Look at that. That is the roof of the car itself. So it's a separate piece, a headliner, if you will. Okay, with the wooden slats, it's the verticals, the horizontals, and even the interior lights there. It's a beautiful piece. Very, very beautiful piece. Okay. We've got here where we are. Okay, we got another one here. This is, I believe, your back panel for the uh, tailgate interior side. And then you've got your interior panels here. Okay. If you go in tight, if it'll allow us to. I don't know if you can see that. I got two lights on this. It still looks dark. But there is a wood texture to those panels. You've got a texture here for the panel itself and you've actually got a wood texture along here on the wood frames. Very nice. And you've got your handles built in. Um, they're a little bit more 3D. I think they stand out a little bit more than your standard kits do. Very nice. Very, very nice. All right, here we've got ourselves all kinds of different pieces here. Uh, basically, we've got the um, we've got the ductwork for the engine, I believe. You've got all kinds of stuff that go with a flathead that I'm unaware of. I don't know what they are. You got a battery. You've got a oil filter here. I'm not sure what this is. Looks like a a, a really early version of the flux capacitor. Again, these I believe are the pieces that hold the bumper to the uh, frame. The steering column, some more interior parts I'm not aware of. Uh, your frame, okay, that's really nice that it's separate from the rest of the body. Makes it nice for detailing. You've got some shocks, you've got some suspension parts here, braces and stuff like that, very cool. This one, we've got ourselves the engine components. You've got your flatheads here. I believe that's your intake. All right. Your breather, pulleys, one long single exhaust. Okay. You've got your steelies here. Very nice there. You can zoom in, look at the detail on those. They're very nice. Okay. Very cool. You've got the wheel backs, you've got your fan, and you've got your steering wheel. Okay, nothing exciting, but still, very nicely done parts. Very little flash on this so far, a little bit here by my finger. But the parts themselves are very clean, very crisp. Very, very nice so far. Um, starting here, you've got your in engine firewall. Then we're going to go here to your um, dash panel, I believe looks like brake plates here more framework for the uh, suspension or you know rigid making the frame rigid stuff like that more suspension parts you've got your motor radiator support your front um, cross beam you've got your rear end with the drive shaft it comes in two parts here and here and more suspension okay very nice we've got our chrome tree okay we've got our dog dish um, caps now this chrome tree is 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 very nice I don't think it's over the top it's not too bright if that makes sense um, so you know you get some of these kits the chrome tree just looks so over the top and fake uh, I, I don't feel like that with this I think it's very well done I mean normally I would strip my chrome and re chrome it to make it look better I don't think you really have to for this it's very nice okay but anyway here's your um, like I said your moon caps 
All right, you've got uh, some sort of, I'm not sure what that is. Maybe the horn ring for the uh, steering wheel, maybe. You got your bumper. You've got your chrome for the dash, I believe. Oh, excuse me. Front grill. It's a really nice piece. Uh, I believe these are the windshield wipers, maybe? Lots of pieces I'm not sure about. Huh. Another bumper here. Exterior door handles. Okay. This here, on my finger, and this here are the framework for the mirrors, the exterior mirrors. And I believe that's the mirror piece also that connects to it. All right, very nice, very nice. Then we got clear pieces for the windows. A couple of them fell off, but still, even though these weren't in the bag uh, with the other parts, um, they're still not too scratched up at all, actually. They're pretty good. Um, I like it. A couple of the pieces are still in here. Okay, another window here. Front windshield with built-in visors. And the visors are textured. Okay, it's pretty nice. We've got ourselves the tire tree. Okay, they're hard rubber. Okay, nice tread on them though. Um, the black walls are, one side is plain, the other get in here see that I believe that's good year in there get in there get in there yeah it's good year on there okay but they're nice nice tires thin but nice okay so that's that Let's see what else we got okay we got ourselves another battery it was floating loose I guess we get two batteries hmm I'm not sure it looks like a battery but I'm pretty sure I saw another one before so I don't know if it gives you two different styles or what you've got your hood some scratches on it but otherwise it's in really nice shape you've got your chrome trim down the side needs a little clean up on the edge but otherwise it's a very nice piece Okay, then we have the piece de resistance, the body itself. Let's see if I can't get you in here to see this body. This body is sweet, okay? Coming in on the head fender, the lead fender, you've got your chrome work here, moldings. Coming into the back here by the door, you've got your panels, they're wood grained. Sorry about that. The wood grained, you've got some more moldings and chrome work here. Okay. You go to the back, just beautiful detail in here. You've got your your I'll say bolts. I don't think they're rivets, but or what if they are, but still the detail is really nice there. Okay. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And again, if I flip it a little bit in the light, you might be able to see the wood grain there also it's very cool okay and offhand it's hard to say because I'm working with a camera and everything but I really don't see any mold lines yet uh, once I get into it I probably might find something but right now I'm not seeing anything it's just gorgeous all right nice big fenders you need a little bit of work here's your mold lines right there comes down here at an angle and then straight across to here to the front on both sides of the fenders here and here okay there's your nose that big grill we saw before is gonna look beautiful in there absolutely stunning oops very cool 
I like it. I like it. Let's see. Next we've got our directions. Your standard Revell monogram directions. It's booklet form. Gives you instructions on how to do different things, starting with the history, uh, explaining their um, their uh, different things on there. You know when to cement, not to cement, stuff like that. Your paint callouts are down here, and then it starts as you open it up. Of course, it starts with the engine, and it works its way through all the way to the end to step nine, which is the final assembly, and then you've got your decals on the back on how to apply the decals okay very easy to read and then next we have our decal sheet decal sheets very nice as you can see here you've got your wood grain panels so you can put them all in you don't have to worry about painting them but if you choose to you can because the body is textured so it'll the the whatever paint you put on will have that wood grain effect to it all right, but you got lots of cool decals here. You've got gauges in here. You've got some street signs, stuff like that. Um, license plates and a bunch of graffiti type stickers for the windows. If you want to do like a surfer dude van, man, because they have all kinds of stuff, you know, that's what that would be for. Okay, so you got cool options and the decals are pretty nice. All right. So that is a look at the Revell Monogram 48 Ford Woody. It is a cool kit. It's readily available on the internet now. You can find it on eBay and stuff like that. Um, I think I got this for uh, $9 shipped. Uh, can't beat that, right? Um, but yeah, they're on average though, they're going in the, the 20s, mid-20s, maybe low 30s. They're, like I said, easy to find right now. Um, just from what I've seen so far, I would suggest getting this because this is a sweet, sweet ride. So I hope that I hoped that this review will help you. Um, this way, when you see it, you know what's in the box now, and you know if you want to pay your hard-earned cash for it. So, uh, till next time, guys. Be strong.